Hello everyone, I am still here. I've just had an incredibly busy week, so don't panic if I'm not here for a few days. I am still here. If anything ever happens, I'll put something on the community bit of my of my YouTube page so that you know what's going on if anything's, you know, but I've just had a really busy week, so I haven't managed to upload on Monday and Tuesday, but here we go. Right, I've got my Aliana hand. This is the Anais Lifelike Half Hand. It's a left hand and it is in the shade Autumn. Um, you can save 5% on their website using my code NATMUG5. I'm using this acrylic that I'm using. The blue one that I've got is called Midnight and all the acrylic powders that I'm using today are from Nail & Beauty Excellence. The, the one I've got here is clear. So the, the blue that I want to use on, I'm not sure, at the, when I start these nails, I'm not sure how many nails I'm going to put the blue on. So because the blue is a design powder, it needs to go on a clear base. So I'm putting a very thin layer of clear acrylic onto my nails so that if the client, that's not really a client, but if your client ever came back for a redesign, you can file down to that clear clear layer and then you can start your design again. That is if you're, you know, if you're just doing a, a, a refill, infill. Uh, that, that tip, I think I bent the tip. Don't look at the tips, by the way. I've put tips on, but they are, I'm so rubbish at gluing tips on, but I have to glue them on because the, yeah, I just prefer the, the tips on these than just popping. Yeah, anyway, right, this is our clear base done, right? So I'm going to apply decals to these nails. So the, the decals that I'm using from Nail Sugar are called something like chin, Chinoiserie. It's a really cute pattern. It's like a bluey pattern. I've never heard of it before. I'm, I'm, I've seen it, but I didn't know what the name of it was. So because the decals are very intricate, sometimes the decals will need to have, will need to go on a white background because it just helps them show up. So two of the nails, I'm gonna do this. Uh, it's just a thin layer of white acrylic just so that the, the decals show up. I thought there was a hair. I don't like this brush. I don't know, it's not anyone's in particular's brush. It was just a sample brush that I got sent to try and I don't, I just, I'm not that keen on it. I think it's my own fault. I think it might need a clean, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the brush was just a bit, but I'm blaming the brush. It's just my, it's just my, my skill or lack of. <laughs> anyway, right, look, the, the white isn't going all the way up because I'm only putting the decal at the bottom end of the nail. So like the free edge end of the nail, but these nails are quite long. Honestly, don't know why I do nails quite this long because shorter nails would just be so much easier. But there we go, we're doing them. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna leave that just to set up to dry. While the acrylic is drying, I'm gonna, these are the decals from Nail Sugar, by the way, and you can save 10% using my code NATMUG10. Nail Sugar have so many de different decals and they're, oh, they're lovely. Some of them are really, really nice. Oh, I say some of them, they're all really nice in their own right. I'm cutting off two sections. Now, these were way too big. They were just way too long, look. I mean, I've got no, look, I could have cut that in half. <laughs> but there was a little bird on, on one section, so I do cut them down. But the decals need a tacky layer to, to sort of stick to. So once that acrylic has dried, I'm just gonna go over the top with a layer of base coat. This is going to give us obviously a tacky layer once it's cured. So this is gonna go over both of these nails. You can save 30% on Madam Glam stuffs so using my code now, mug 30, the base coat's from Madam Glam, by the way. Right, to apply my decals, I, Put them upside down on a stamper. This little bottle here has got some water in, little pot even. And then I just put my brush in the water and then I just cover the back of the decal with the water. And the decal will suck up the water and after several seconds, the back in will just slide off nice and easy. 
there we go and I like to just dab off any excess water and then I'm going to stamp the decal onto the nail where I want it I fluffed up a little bit here it's really when you're doing a big decal like this or a big section of decal like this it's actually a little bit harder and this corner got a little bit scrumpled but I managed to carefully peel it off and just pull it straight like like just straighten it up there you just you have to be really careful with the decals because they are so delicate it, you just yeah you just don't want to don't want to ruin them now you can cut off any excess from the side walls but i'm i'm not going to bother because once i've capped it it will just file off anyway and on this one i wanted that little bird kind of well i was going for like in the middle but i'm not sure where it ended up but that i wanted that little i wanted you to see that little bird can you see the little bird oh it's so cute so there we go so we've got two nails the same I am then going to take, ah, oh, this is where I fluffed up, right, so if you saw my last acrylic video, you'll know what I done after I applied the decals, I just went straight in with the acrylic, now if you do this, the monomer is going to take some of the colour off of the decals if you're not careful, so I, I went in with my, basically I want to do a, a, a an, like an ombre here, I want to ombre this nude over the top of the decal, and it, in a minute it will all of a sudden twig because I end up getting a little bit of the blue from the decal onto the acrylic and I'm like why is that going blue there and then I was like ah oh, that's why <laughs> you plonker nuts. so I'm just I'm not sure when it is Oh, I think there's some blue there. And I was like, where did that come from? And then I was like, oh no. So anyway, what you want to do is, before you, after you've applied your decal, look, I was like there, I was like, oh, I know what I've done. Right, grab your base coat again. And you want to just seal the decal in with the base coat. Because this is going to obviously, when you go over with your acrylic, it's just going to keep the design on. So this one, I've just gone over this bit. Is I've already gone over the, the other bit with the yeah just cure it anyway and then we can try again so I didn't like my like the, the fade here I wasn't too pleased with it I don't think I've done a very good job <laughs> but then we were like yeah my acrylic application isn't isn't amazing so please don't judge me <laughs> But I think they turn out, do you know what, at the end of the day, I, I was really pleased with how they turn out, so I'm not going to be too grumpy, but I'm going to use, right, this is High Tide Glitter from Nail Sugar as well, and it's a really stunning one. I've not used it for a long time. These chunky glitters, I am more likely to use doing a set of acrylic nails. Also, I'm going to try and do some more acrylic nails, so if you want to see more acrylic nails, do let me know in the comments. I will still be doing gel polish, but someone commented saying that they haven't watched my videos for a while because I haven't done acrylic nails. Apparently, not many other YouTubers do acrylic nails. So, I feel like I should jump on that bandwagon and get some more acrylic nails done. So, just to cover up my nude fade that I didn't like on the pinky, I've just gone and done a little glitter swoosh. This nail, I was a little bit more happy with the, the fade. So I do a one bead and then I'm going to do my cuticle bead at the top. I do need a new brush. I think I'm going to get a new brush, but I don't know what brand of brush to get. And I'm not going to get it yet because I haven't got, I haven't got any money at the moment. Because <laughs> YouTube is not very good. I just went in with another bead. This is me. This is, I am like, you know, people are like, Mrs. One Bead. Well, I am Miss 50 Beads. <laughs> so if you're one of these people that sees, say you're new to acrylic, right? If you're one of these people that watches Instagram videos and stuff and people are doing their, their nails in like one bead, it's not like doing one, doing a one bead application doesn't make you a master acrylic nail tech. You can do it in several beads or like just one it's not always about it's not always about the amount of beads that you do your nails in so don't feel like to be the ultimate 
acrylic tech you have to be able to do nails in in one bead and also don't compare you don't try not to compare yourself to other people like everyone's journey is different so just honestly just worry about just concentrate on yours and there's going to be people that progress faster than you and there's going to be people that progress slower than you you've just got to you know stay in your own lane and you know just keep practicing and you'll get there by the way so that's yeah that's my little words of wisdom for today <laughs> This blue is absolutely gorgeous. I was a little bit worried that it was gonna to be too dark, but this is the midnight acrylic powder that I showed you at the very beginning. I thought I'd add a little bit of, so I've picked up a wet bead of clear acrylic. When you're applying glitter, if you're gonna pick the glitter up with clear acrylic, make sure you just get a very small, on, on the wet side, um, acrylic bead for your glitter because you don't wanna be adding loads of clear acrylic with your glitter otherwise your, your nail will end up really bulky or you'll put your glitter on and then you'll go to cap and where you've put so much acrylic on where you've been adding the glitter you'll end up filing through the glitter i think i'm making sense does that make sense so yeah so when you apply you when you're doing acrylic you want to make sure that you do work in thin layers if you're doing a design otherwise you'll end up with like a really bulky nail or when you come to file you'll be filing away at that design and that's not what you want I, I don't know why I started at the top on this nail because it's not like I can do it in one bead. So normally, if you're going to do it in like more than one bead, start sort of more like where I'm doing it now and then like say this would be your first bead and then you do a second bead and then you do a third bead, which is at the cuticle. But I, I don't, I'm, I think I'm, because I do my, when I do my hard gel, I always start at the cuticle and work my way down. <laughs> <laughs> which is how you're supposed to do it you know i've got this twitch i keep getting i keep getting twitches it's the weirdest thing and i've got a twitch right now kind of in my oh, i don't know in my, it's like in my back it's really weird i get like this twitch and it's really weird why do i get twitches twitch twitch okay so i mean this look at my terrible my, my application is something left to be desired so i've just ended i don't know what i'm doing here what am i doing faffing around with something so there was a there was a look there's a dip that you can see so i just had to put some acrylic here to fill in that dip my my bead was a little bit runny but i'm trying to chase it i'm trying to catch it and i just want to fill in that dip because i don't want to file it and be left with a dip and then also i'm going to add a bit more acrylic to here to make sure that my I just I can get a nice shaped apex and then I'm gonna leave that right now the next thing we need to do is we need to cap the nails so I'm taking the clear acrylic and I'm going to if you are clever right you can do your apex when you do when you add your nude but I'm not very good at that some people add their nude and then they just cap the free edge and I'm like oh my gosh how did you do that <laughs> I can't do it so I kind of have to do yeah I just yeah anyway well you want to you want to also cap the other two nails so the index and the middle finger I'm not going to do anything with the the ring finger because I'm actually going to add some crystals onto that nail so I'm not going to worry about and it's it's a it's a core powder so it doesn't actually need capping we can just file it I was just trying to flatten that out. And again, I, I made a dip in this nail as well. So I had to get another bead and put that there just to fill in that, that dip. So I'm gonna do the same to the other two nails, like I said, and then I'm gonna file it and file them and buff them. And then we are gonna be, no, what am I doing? Oh, okay, right, initially when I edited this video, I was just gonna show you cap it, me capping the pinky, right? But look, watch this, watch this, right? My bead was so wet. Look, I literally had to turn the nail right up. So look at it. <laughs> I had to chase that thing all the way down the nail. It was, yeah, oh gosh, honestly, I tell you. I don't know what's up with me sometimes. I'm like, it's weird. Oh, I don't know. Shut up, Nats. Right, anyway. 
anyway it made it easy to cut this nail <laughs> I am going to put some more though at the at the at the top to to make my apex because uh, the bead just ran and ran and ran and ran and it didn't leave any up here to create my structure. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a right nightmare. Anyway, file and buff them. This is where we're at. I sorry, just sorting out my camera angle there. Right, these are the crystals I grabbed from Preciosa from. Um, my nails need redoing, by the way. Look how much they've grown. Oh, they look awful now. Right, this was... I just wanted to try and show you the arch on these tips. Because I love... Sorry, the C-curve. Um, I really like them. This one might have been a little bit too thick. But, yeah, I was trying to... I don't know. Anyway, those, those are the nails filed. The crystals that I grabbed from Crystal Parade. They are Preciosa crystals. I have got... Saf these are Sapphire. Then I've got light sapphire. So the sapphire is a slightly darker blue than the light ones, obviously, hence light sapphire. And then these ones are Capri blue. They're sort of like a turquoisey blue, but I just thought all three of the blues would go really nice because we've got a mixture of blues from the decals, the glitter, and that acrylic. Um, the glue that I'm using here is the Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix, which is also available from Crystal Parade. And you can save 10% on their website using my code NATMUG10 which is great. I'm going to do a little crystal cuff here. I'm going to add, right, yeah, so we've gone with light sapphire. And then, I can't remember what colour I used, but going out, we're going to use a different blue. Is that that? I think that's Capri blue. And then at the bottom, we're going to use the sapphire blue. And as you can see, the, the sizes taper as we go around. Like, the bigger in the middle, and then they get smaller. And I'm going to also add some of these silver caviar beads you don't have to add these i feel like they just kind of finish off a design quite often the, the, that little added extra detail just makes such a difference on some nails if you need to just add a little bit more gem glue between the crystals sometimes you might add a little bit too much gem glue and the gem glue might just squidge out between the crystals and you can just place the caviar beads on the excess crystal fit like the excess glue also i'm not too worried um about the no i forgot what i was going to say oh this bit i meant to press record and i forgot to hit record <laughs> and i'd already started placing the crystals but i'm going to add three of these bigger size crystals and i'm um, this is this that little torch that i've got is from rachel wilder's as well it's like a mini mini LED torch and it's great just for flash gearing crystals into place it's, it's good because sometimes by the time you've put them on your client's hand nails sorry and the clients put their hand in the lamp quite often bigger size crystals will have moved slightly so just flash curing them with a little torch like that is is quite handy these little ones are the Capri blue ones I'm going to add two of two sapphire ones just at the top and bottom here these are going to be kind of in between sizes and then i will add some caviar beads to this i'm going to do it off screen there we go look i don't know what this is i'm not even sure i like this placement but it's you know it's done <laughs> then we're gonna top coat and this is where the nails come alive i by the way that white around the cuticle there is the i actually bent the nail tip that i've put the acrylic on which is why it's gone white which was a bit annoying but i'm hoping it doesn't really notice as much look at the glitter look at the decals oh my gosh i really like these right initially this the 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 what do you call it i wasn't sure about these decals initially but i think like i think they turn out really nicely also by the way when i do these i like to do these one at a time because normally i end up knocking the nails together the, the, the fingers together <laughs> so quite often i will do i will cure one nail at a time just so that i know that i don't get any dinks or anything this one because we've got the crystals you want to go around the crystals you can butt the brush up to the crystals especially like up to those caviar beads because that will help them that will give them a bit of you know a bit more longevity on the nails Make sure, yeah, you go. I'm sorry, my, my words aren't coming out very well today. Don't, whatever you do, don't top coat over the crystals because they will lose their facets, which means they will lose their sparkle. And we we don't want that. That should be illegal. 
there we go i'm going to pop that one in and then i'm going to do this one and the other one this one's quite easy because the crystals are around the cuticle area so again you can just butt the brush up and if you're anything like me i will i'll keep brushing if there's a little something in the top coat i'll keep brushing and brushing and brushing and brushing until whatever that little bit of like it might be a little bit of flick or something comes out so what might take someone like a couple of like i don't know 10 seconds to top coat now sometimes it takes me 30 because i'm trying to get the bits out <laughs> oh. i hate it though don't you when you get little bits of flick or something in the top coat and then you cure the top coat and then you can see you've got this little that it just disturbs the line light and it oh it really bugs me so they actually it did happen on this nail on the on the pinky but i don't show you because it makes me upset <laughs> by the way look at that glitter oh my gosh anyway this is them done oh don't forget to wipe over the crystals with some isopropyl alcohol on a wipe because it just makes them really sparkle but there we go that's them done i'm going to leave discount codes in my link tree if you like these you might like these videos thanks for watching love you bye I'll see you in the next one.